Okay, so Dad, I thought I'd show you a little video on how to access that file we were talking about. If I just start up the internet here, this is Google Chrome, but you could use Safari or whatever you have. And uh, simply in a Google search bar, I'll just bring up Google here to show you. We just simply type how to download. Let me see if I can zoom in on you here for you. There you go. How to download Adobe Reader for Mac. And now I get a number of options here, something like this first one, adobe.com, seems like an important one, so I'll go ahead and click on that. It's the first thing that comes up in the Google search bar. And there's a list of files here that might be able to show me. There's a, a few different Adobe readers here. I'm just going to pick the newest one. It's the one at the very top. And this is a download page already for Adobe Reader for Mac. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that tells me some security things sure I'll proceed to download and still looks good so I'll just download now we've got a few seconds left here it takes about 30 seconds to get downloaded so uh, I'll just pause for a sec okay you can see that the uh, file has completely downloaded here sometimes you don't get to see it right there and we're gonna have to go to your finder window let's bring it over and you'll have to find your downloads I search by the date up here and it says oh, it's quite late here and I can find it there or I can find it down there they are the same one if I just double click on either of those files, you can see that we have a, a package that jumps up here. It says it's an installer package. Double click. And we get to work our way through continue, continue, and install. I'll just put in my password. Just a few short moments. So we can get this into there. We should be able to be up and running. This is Adobe Reader. Sure, we'll pause. And just a few seconds after that, I had a little happy chime told me that this was successful so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that close the window close the window and now I've got the newest Adobe running on the system all right hope that helped